I'm Danny, and you have found me here on YouTube. Today, I am filming my master bathroom. I am going to be cleaning it, organizing it, and decorating it. We moved into our house a little over a year ago, and I have not done anything with this bathroom yet other than add this medicine cabinet. We had to hang it in an awkward spot because of this outlet right there below, but that's all we've done so far. It's kind of gone back and forth between me using it and my husband using it. And for the longest time, nobody was using this bathroom, so it really needs a good clean out, as you can see. is extra special because it's a collab with my friend Monica from the channel Monica Masters here on YouTube. She is also a mom of three. She works full time so she's kind of a rock star and she loves everything homemaking. So today she also did her master bathroom but she did a full declutter of the area under her bathroom sink. So she's got some great motivation and organizational ideas over there so go check out her channel, subscribe if you are not already, you'll love her content. Similar to mine, she makes um, videos about motherhood and lifestyle. And let her know that I sent you. So here we are back in my bathroom and I am just going to start by giving the entire bathroom a deep clean from top to bottom. All done with the cleaning now so I can move on to getting it decorated. As I was cleaning I decided that this space needs some color and so I went and got a can of this Andromeda pink. It is a Sherwin Williams color but I'm using Valspar paint and this is actually a color that we bought for my daughter's nursery but we haven't painted it yet. So I already had it on hand and I figured I would give it a try because I just love that it's like a peachy pink color and so I just kind of went with this last minute but I ended up loving the way it looked. Whenever I paint, I always like to do the harder areas first, so I do all of the edges and all of the cutting first, and then I go back in with the roller. Um, usually my husband does the rolling, but I did it today because it was such a small space and I wanted to do this myself, so the rolling I do last because it just it's easier and I like to do the hardest part first. These are the bathroom decor and organization items that I've kind of been collecting recently to, to redo the bathroom. So I've got some picture frames to put some art in there, a new mirror that I'm hoping will fit in place of that old mirror because it was just so large. I thought something smaller might look a little bit better. Um, this is a little storage basket that I thought I could take in and out of the bathroom since it is so small and some under the sink storage there and there a shower caddy, this cute little waste paper basket which was kind of the inspiration for the color scheme of the bathroom because I just love this little boho look. So I also got this toothbrush holder which I'm not sure if it's actually going to fit on the tiny sink but we will see. This bathroom rug, some new hand towels. This basket is to put on top of that caddy if I use it or over the toilet and then some bathroom canisters if they fit in there. So let's see what works and what doesn't. 
Now I'm just doing a quick declutter of this medicine cabinet. It was relatively neat. I didn't have to get rid of a lot of items because I kind of did this a few months ago. So I'm just reorganizing it, putting things where they are and getting rid of any products that I haven't used in a while. Whenever I can, I like to use like little mugs or little cups to organize things like this one here. All right, now I'm gonna see what will fit under here so that I can make some space for my husband's things. I'm really hoping this fits. Darn it. That is a definite no-go. Oh, wait a minute. We might have a winner. Yes. Okay, I think it... Let's see, can we close? Yes. Okay, so this will fit. And it's got a basket that comes out. Let's see if this will also fit. All right. Guys, look. It fits. Heck yeah. All right. I'm going to take off the labels and get this set up so that my husband can put his toiletries down here. We'll see if this works. I had to bend the top of it to see if it will stay in place. But with these suction cups, I think it might actually work out just fine. Okay, so I've moved in a few things over here. And I have a new loofah I'm also going to add. And that way there's room for Josh's stuff on this side. And then I put my taller bottles that were gonna fall off of this over there. So I think that should work out just fine. Okay, so I just went on my computer and downloaded some art to put in these frames. I am pretty excited about it. I am just printing it out and then I will put it in. Can't wait. So I'm just using command strips to hang these up. They're just easier and mess free. I'm not gonna mess with the paint that I just did. All right, so here's the final look. This is as good as it's gonna get for now and I am very happy with it. It's such a transformation. So we've got the new toothbrush holder and a new soap dispenser. The new mirror is my absolute favorite addition here. It's a little bit smaller than the other one but it's just more styled and cute. The new artwork is up, new hand towel, these new pieces, new canisters, cute little fake succulent because I'm not sure how much light this room's really going to get. We usually keep this window closed, obviously because it's a bathroom. And then I hung up this little triangle, actually Josh hung this in the mirror for me. And it's going to be his little station for some of his hygiene products. And then there's this basket which has my washcloths, um, reusable makeup wipes, um, some extra space down here for cotton balls and I'll probably put extra toilet paper down there. And then extra hand towel up here but also I might even put some magazines or bathroom books in here. We're always on our phone but um, this little cart just scoots right out of the way when it's time to open the shower door. As far as up here, I have all of my bathroom products in here. So I have hair products up here, dry shampoo, hairspray, mousse, treatment gels. I want to start doing an eyelash serum with that castor oil. I've never actually used it, but contact solution and tanning self tanner, um, things that I don't really use often. I have like my daily skincare right up front here. There's room behind it, but I wanted to make sure it was front and center so I could see it. And then some face masks and some facial products. And that's pretty much all she wrote for today. So just let that shit go everyone, okay? <laughs> Thank you.
thank you so much for watching today's video. Please go check out Monica and her channel, Monica Masters. You can find us both on Instagram, at Monica Masters, and I am at Danny Grace Daily. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel as well. Leave a comment if you found anything in this video inspiring, and if you have any questions. I will see you all soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.